Hello there, Lee with Milk and Sugar Bath Bakery. Back to do a Japanese cherry blossom soap today. We are gonna do a smaller batch today. We're gonna be using this two pound silicone mold. And we are going to attempt to create a cherry blossom tree inside of the soap. I have taken black, sparkly black mica and placed it in some clear melt and pour to create my branches. We will build that up on the inside and I'll show you how I envision doing that in just a minute. I have branches and the tree trunks. I have also created these pink cherry blossom soap embeds with a little flower mold. I created them with a light pink melt and pour soap and then I painted a little darker pink on top and added a little bit of, of dark pink sparkle glitter. Very much a test from my end. I have no idea what it will look on the, like on the inside, but if I, if I get anywhere close to what I'm envisioning, I will be happy. Inside of this pitcher, I have all of my oils melted down. We have coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, castor oil, and cocoa butter, palm free. I have also already added in some heavy cream, kaolin clay, and colloidal oatmeal. My lye solution today has tuss of silk, pure cane sugar to help create natural bubbles within the soap. It also has a little bit of sodium lactate to help harden the bar. In the largest container, I'm going to add some titanium dioxide. I want to create the base as a white. In these smaller containers, I have a little more of this one right here. It's going to be amaranth pink from Nurture Soap. It's a lighter pink. It's the pink that I use to color the flower embeds that we're going to be putting on the top. And in this other small container, we're gonna use raspberry red mica from Crafter's Choice. I have a little bit less of the raspberry mica than the light pink. And just because this could be a little overpowering if we put too much in there. The fragrance I'm using today is from Be Scented. It is Japanese Cherry Blossom. It is a duplication of the Bath and Body Works uh, Cherry Blossom fragrance. If you love that, then you should love this. I'm gonna get this fragrance poured in. I'm gonna give all these colors a blend. And then I will bring you back to show you the technique that I'm going to use today for mixing these colors. And that's called an in the pot swirl. For an in the pot swirl, it is exactly what it sounds like. We are going to pour these two colors, our light pink and our dark pink, directly into the white. And then when we pour the white into the mold, everything will swirl together. Now, so let's start with this light pink. We're gonna pour it from up high so it breaks into that white. That white's starting to get thick. Pour it into three places there. I'm gonna leave just a tad bit in here for the tops. Now we'll pour in this dark pink. We'll pour it in a different spot. 
and maybe there too with that pink. And we'll save some of that for the top. We don't not need that much though. Now I am going to take this spatula and give it one stir. I'm not going to pour all of this soap into the mold at one time because I want to build up the branches inside. The first, the first thing I will put in is going to be our trunks, tree trunks. I created this in a square mold just by pouring a thin thin amount of soap in there and then I'm molding it. So if, had I filled up the mold the full way, this would have been a full bar of soap, square bar. Okay. Let's stick that guy in. And then we'll put this one right next to it. And lastly, we will put this guy in. Okay. These are going to be our tree trunks coming up. Now, if you remember, we're going to cut it this way. So essentially whatever is facing this side is what we're going to see. So you have to create from a different angle than what you're putting the soap into the mold. I think that I will add just a touch more soap in here now because I don't want these to fall. Okay. That's good for now. Tap that down a little bit. The first set of branches, I got a little soap on that branch, that's okay, are going to be farther down on this side. And I'm going to hold this while I'm putting them in. I'm putting them in at an angle or trying to. Okay. I'll be in the middle, so that's fine. And we'll go and add more soap now. This looks really weird, but I'm thinking it might be pretty cool once we cut into it. Who knows? Adding a touch more soap. Let's get this soap in there. Again, I'm going to go back and try to make sure my tree branches are not falling over. The last tree branch is going to be coming this way at an angle. Okay, get those in. use this little popsicle to help me out. Okie dokie, we have our branches in. Let's put in the rest of this soap. small spoon and do a little texture on the top of this soap. Blend some of these colors together. Ooh.
Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is take our little cherry blossom flower embeds. I'm going to place these right here. I think I'm hitting that branch. Right here where my lines are. I love this scent. I've always loved it from Bath and Body and to be able to make my own soap with this fragrance is fantastic. When I painted these little flower embeds, the way I do that is I just take a very, very tiny art brush and I'll mix a little bit of the darker mica with some vodka because it's fast drying so the vodka will just evaporate away and leave the, the mica on there. Now what I think I'm going to do is take some of these extra little black soap branches and stick them out of each side of the flower. Kind of to make it look like these flowers are on branches. Do that. It's fun to create new things. If there's any scents or designs that you guys would like me to attempt leave a comment below and I will do my best to try it out for you. I know that I've recently got a request for more of the bro soaps with the mustaches on top so some of those should be coming here soon. I'm going to take some fine iridescent five degradable glitter and spray this on top to give it a little sparkle. And I will spray it with rubbing alcohol and bring it in for a close up. Here's the top of our cherry blossom soap. I'm loving the little black branches on the top. I think it gives it kind of a little Japanese flair since it's Japanese cherry blossom. Hello, hello. We're back to cut the Japanese cherry blossom soap. See what our little branches look like on the inside. The color of the white has turned a little bit since there's a tiny bit of vanillin in it, in this fragrance oil, but I think it's gonna look okay. So here we go. Let's see if we're gonna see the branches. Fingers crossed. You guys, look at our little tree. That's cute. Most of, and, and I like how it's deeper and darker on the bottom with the pinks and how the swirls kind of come up. And then we have the flower up here on the top for the tree, or for the blossom. This is definitely a, Cute, interesting soap. Got a little bit of that flower. Oh, that's cute. I really like that. Ladies, it's definitely a strong fragrance. Oh, that's cute. Up close in the branches, I know you guys might not be able to see it on camera, but the uh, the mica that I used was sparkly on the inside. So there's little sparkles going through all the trees. And 
I think it might look cute in the future to do one like this that has a little more branches inside of it.